Paul's and Pharisees and Sadducees. See, that's, that's, that's the type of view I look at. What is most of Israel's problem? Because we, we just like our ancestors, good and bad. What is most Israel's problem? Okay, Israel following this doctrine, how to do this, and this is what it should be. And, that, and if you ain't second guessing, and this is why you have to study yourself a little because everything that our ancestors went through and did, we see today. We see today. You see a lot of Judas. You see a lot of Jezebel. You see a lot of Pharisees and Sadducees. Gangs. And a lot of us still get trapped by this stumbling block because we are not studying for ourselves. You know what I mean? And this is how a lot of us get caught up in the waves, right? Which is really a hurricane of wickedness. And then you go through this trial of not wanting to deal with Israel because you didn't see what's been a while. All right, shalom, Mike. Shalom, shalom, shalom. How do you know these people's problem? Well, how are they being processed? 
Because you don't know if you're dealing with corrupt fruit or good fruit. You get what I'm saying? And the problem is because you wasn't prospect right on even how to make a friend, let alone be a good son or daughter. You yourself put yourself in a corruptible place. Y'all follow me? Right? And so we got to stop following the ways. Right? And it's all good social media. I get it. I get it. But at the end of the day, we got to know who's who. We got to know who's who. It's like for a lot of you brothers, you won't let your wife talk to anybody. Why? Why? Because you know a corruptible tree come across you and plant a corruptible seed in you, right? And you haven't proven that process. Okay? So now let's understand the process. Now, uh, Because we're blind and we just see with the eyes. 
like it's, it's illogical to think that way. Because we have been taught to make our decisions and not say the truth, but in emotion and feeling. You know? I think we're getting better because now we are focusing on like healthy food. But now it's like on another level. Are we going to begin to grow our own food? In other words, are we going to be able to really produce our own relationships based on proper uh, based on proper breaking up the cord? You know what I'm saying? Is it the proper season? Is it the time? It may be the right person or the right thing, but is it the right time? Yes, mm-hmm. sometimes we're supposed to plant something. You know? And so as we mature and as we go through certain mistakes, we learn this process of how to actually choose our relationships with brothers, sisters, spouses, or whatever. But you're not going to, that's why I said, can, can good come from a you're frustrated because you're expecting something good to come out of something that's not good. Huh? I mean, that's just what it is, but we want to get super hyper spiritual about it. Don't say, well, I love you. <laughs> you know what I mean? My love is going to make you happy. I've done it for years. You know what I mean? I've done it. I'm telling you, I've done it. And it's not going to happen because the change you're looking for or only the most high can take that. It's not to be done with that. It's not to be done with that. I guarantee you, you're going to frustrate yourself. You're going to change this person into your likeness and your image. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Matthew 13.
seen God. Why they say, oh, you keep looking at the sun, it apply you, but the fact is, because we have the same nutrients as the sun, it actually feeds us. You get what I'm saying? So while we sit here going in the dark, we're running from the very thing that heals us, which is a healed person. We're a broken generation of people, man. And yet we think we got it figured out. Who are you following that acts successful in what you want to do? See sower. This broken sower is trying to pick the broken seed, yet he has not figured out yet how to be an actual seed himself. Tell me something. Does that make sense? Right? We got to stop trying to fix this old imagination thing that we got it because we know who we are. So what? The Pharisees did too. They still didn't figure it out. They was looking for a Messiah the whole time. He was right there. But because we want to look at people and so say, we got nice fringes. She got the beautiful, the beautiful head wrap on and the lion hair in it. No, we're real quick. This is serious. <laughs> no, we judge people. But yet the very thing that we need, because we're so blinded, and we're thinking with a carnal mind, we can't see spiritually that our king was right there. Peter didn't even realize it. Judas turned his back on the king. He did all these miracles in front of you, yet you still turned your back. And we think we got to fi uh, figure it out, and we ain't seen him inside. We got to start thinking logical about what are we actually doing here. Think about it. Let's just use the spiritual aspect of baptism, right? The whole sure went through the water, and then the spirit came. We know the water is representation of what? Cleansing, right? Being cleansed or made new. Now let's look at this in the spiritual aspect. We may be on level of those. Maybe not believing in physical baptism. If you have the spirit and cleanse yourself, how are you going to tell me that the Holy Spirit led you? It's just the truth. Am I saying be perfect? Then he comes on. I'm saying you haven't even cleaned your heart from the hate you got for your brother and sister. Yet because you feel like, oh, you said you forgave me with your mouth and you removed yourself, that all is all is good now? No, it has to be in your heart. Your heart has to be clean from the blackness. That's in it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Guess what that portrays? Accountability. The hardest, the biggest challenge of us as individuals is taking accountability. And coming to that place of being messy and saying, when I say messy, I literally not. Amen. I want to
and you still may give every grace, daughter, wife, and queen. Come on. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 2. That the age men be sober. Be sober, grave, grave, temperate, temperate, bound in faith, bound in faith, in charity, uh -huh, and in patience. And in patience. And if you actually go and study farming, a successful farmer, they actually all have to be characteristics. Right? And see, it, it's always two types of perspectives the Bible is always talking about. What's that? We already went over farming. What's that mean? Your 
wife may not make it. It's just a reality that comes with this walk. You can't save nobody. All you is is a vessel for Mashiach to save them. You understand what I'm saying? We got to stop getting on this, on this higher level that we save people. We don't. Because we're using another man's words to save them. Mashiach is the ultimate savior. He's the anointed one over all nations. Not us.
the word. The word is solid. The word is concrete. Ain't no add nor taking away from it. So it's been saying, it, it, what it say? As it is written. You see? But see, you got to understand, these people, who put that slumber on them? The most high. Who put the slumber on them? The most high. The most high. So why do we think we got control to take that slumber off? Because then now we start to what? This very thing uh, America likes to uh, promote, self-empowerment. Oh, now we think we got the power to take this off. That's a harsh reality. It's the truth. It's the truth. Just like you look on the chessboard. Pause is living in there to what?
enter into blueprint of thought. When have you ever really seen nature by itself go out of work? Never. A lion's in the same line since the beginning. The eagle's in the same eagle since the beginning. A whale's in the same whale. The sun does the same rotation. Moon does the same rotation. The stars have been doing the same thing since they were created. We're the only thing that's out of alignment with the Creator. And this is why we got to go back and analyze, okay? See, I was grown. I was nurtured. Hmm. So this would be the very thing of how I have to be in my life. Because I wasn't seed, so man can produce seed. He planted a seed in the woman. He planted life in the woman. So why not understand what a seed is actually purpose for? Hallelujah. Let me read this article. So it says, all things can only achieve success in life by remaining true to their nature. Let me read again. All things can only achieve success in life by remaining true to their nature. Are we in our natural state? No. Even in this life right now? No. Who think we are? Uh, the nose were real low. Who think we are? Okay. So we're not. Like you brought up the food. Whether you're a vegan or not, you still eat the GMO food. Straight up. That's just the reality. You a vegan, carnivore, pescatarian, we all eat the GMO food. But see now, this is where we get to understand the soul. Because then we understand, okay, well, if I know this is not in, even our genetics, this food is not aligning up with our genetics. You see people whose who skin is ever still having a heart attack. How? You look healthy. You feel healthy. But how do you have a heart attack? Yes. I heard uh, back in the day, like, different villages, they do their own food and their food is, like, aligned with their energy. Like, their energy of their tribe, so no That's why I want 
old ways, going through all these different mystic type of things. Right? Some people going back to Christianity. No, it is not the truth. But because we come from there by the world, that's the very thing we fall back to. Right? And so you see this great falling away. You read. You read up. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So you got all these, all these people who've been trying to infiltrate, faking the fault, are being revealed to them. If they fall away, it, it's been in their heart for some, quite some time. These are the seeds that fall by the wayside. Uh, I'm saying four and six. Somebody give me Matthew 13 and 19. Right? Calling themselves this, calling themselves that. 
King David reincarnated.
truth is being told by himself. He don't want to accept it. These are people who, who would fall on stony ground and have not been rooted because they have not accepted the right process. They have not been properly processed in how it truly is to be a Hebrew Israelite. You understand? We're dealing with 2,000 years of information, culture, and history. And we think we got it down even in 25 years. Even in 20, 30 plus years, we think we got to figure it out. You just now actually maturing if you want to be technical. Think about your, at your natural age now. When was the peak of y'all really understanding you started to mature? What age? What? You started to actually mature. What age do y'all think that is?
shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. It is day or day. Watch you this for a prayer always, that you may be accounted worthy. Do you understand? So he's going to know if you actually wait on him. And those who do wait are going to be accounted worthy to escape what? Destruction. So we can see the seed by the wayside, they get devoured. The ones on stony ground, what? Getting consumed by fire. And the ones that grew up with the thorn is getting choked. All that sounds like destruction and death. And so if you're not meditating on the word day and night, and praying to the Father for forgiveness, not only for yourself but your nation, and praying to him and petitioning him for that day, you will be consumed by this, and you won't even be worthy to escape what's coming. Brother, y'all hear me? Y'all said you know. Sister, y'all hear me? Y'all still y'all speak. We almost done. Now let's get to the good part. Everybody wait for the good part. We have heard so much death. Let's get to the good part. Matthew 13 and 8.
twiddling your fingers all day, you sitting here worrying about your own cares, then you are unfruitless. You're not doing nothing, and you're a waste of gifts. So what are you doing right now that's setting up for those around you and the ones to come? Because every day somebody comes in too. And are you at to make sure they got a way to come? And we can see you on the corner all day and see they get in the truth, now what they going to do? Well, now how are you going to leave it? We just going to sit here and have Bible study all the time? No. The real work actually starts when you apply to your life. How many people setting up communities? Creating programs where, where walk women and children can feel protected. Where we got land and certain businesses set up. Where when people come in the truth, those who struggle, because a lot of people come in the truth with what? Um, um, uh, uh, felony. What are we doing so they good? What are we doing so when people actually come in there, we can really say we are the ones that change the lives. We are really the children of life. We can't keep sitting here banging on other uh, denominations. And they're doing more. Look at the Muslims. They actually got safe havens for people. Christians really got programs. Although they all, they got programs. Outside of just sitting here reading all day. What are we doing for so-called children of Israel? Besides prophesying another man's time. And reading out, uh, out of words that we really can't comprehend. Most of us can't even get to understand of our own language. What are we really doing? This ain't, I hope it ain't hard for y'all, but it's reality, right? It's something we really got to consider. What are we doing? We can see it's all about everybody else, but then we, we, we got to look at ourselves and say, what are we doing? Are you getting a beam off your eye? Children of life. Three matches, that's even in the We see a seed being planted. Come on. And the fruit tree yielding fruit mm -hmm. after his time. After what? His time. After his time. Come on. Whose seed is in itself. Whose seed is in itself. Why? We are the seed who has the blueprint to our creator. Do you understand what I'm saying? You were put on this earth to multiply the creator's glory. Nothing more, nothing less. Do you understand? Come on. On the earth, and it was so. Mm. And it was so. Next verse. Verse 12. And the earth brought forth grass. Mm. So the earth brought forth grass. But who created the earth? That's high. So now the very thing that was created is bringing forth yeah. of another creation. That's now a reflection of itself, which is the creation. Come on. And, and herbs really now you start to see. We're starting to multiply ourselves. Come on. And the tree yielding fruit. Mm. Whose seed was in itself Ooh. after his time. And what y'all say? And Elohim saw that it was good. And Elohim saw that it was good. Let's go to man. Well, no, I'm going to go to Ezekiel 19 and 19. Somebody give me 5 verse 18 and 21. I got you. Now, Knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. It's the what? The doctrine of life. Come on. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Mm. Read that one more time for us. Knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Mm -hmm. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. So this is the actual tree we want to have. This is the actual fruit we want to have. We don't want to have that fruit that he has, that fruit is deceitful. That that, that that fruit is of self empowerment, thinking she was Elohim herself. We want the fruit that connects us eternally to the Creator. You understand what I'm saying? This is the fruit we want to have. Proverbs 18. 
was moving and what what is we really be looking at people and say because he speak he speak smooth words and he got a little bit of following right that they're good people but you actually know him by who he teaches by who he leads you understand so it's how it's like this you can look at somebody they may be a bad person is that one way to say this is a bad person Huh? If you see one bad apple in the group, is that does that make the leader a bad person? No. No, because that's not even in, that's not even in, in the in the rule of judgment. You mean how many weeks? So it has to be something that's specific. Okay, that's one bad apple. Two or three, okay. This opposite, this person ain't doing right. You would know people by just like you know a man by his way, family. You understand? I'm giving y'all a blueprint on how to look at people. Stop just calling everybody your aunt or your brother or your sister. Look at what they're bearing. Look at their fruit. Just because they got a following don't mean nothing. What, is, what does that following look like? Y'all see? It's not about, it's not just because they got numbers. Quality over quantity. Okay?
you're good soil, then if you look at yourself from a healthy perspective, and you say, I'm good ground, I know I'm good ground, I'm good soil, I know my value, I know my worth. Would you let a man put this good seed in you if you know he's not productive? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But because we've been romanticized, we'll judge that man on him being a good man based on how well we take us out. How we make us feel when we go out. You know what I mean? We had a good time when we drank it. You know what I mean? But we don't say, you know what? This man going to put his seed in me because I know I'm good ground. I know that him being a soul That's too boring. You know what I mean? That's not romantic. That's too sci that's scientific. But it's proven. It's proven. But that's when you're in your healthy state of mind, when you're thinking like you're created. We have the mind of our creator that when we bring forth children, we're actually sharing in the creative You know what I mean? So it's like natural, man. This man, I'm going to bring you. First thing he's going to do is go, you know, he's going to put me in a garden. He's going to put me in a good field. He's going to put me in a place of health, of health where when I give him seed, and listen, this ain't no indictment against nobody in here. We all screwed up. You know what I mean? We all in places where we should be. But if we want to get a healthy generation, we got to, somebody got to, we got to be a generation that's going to be sober enough to face the reality and that we're in this moment. And so our children can begin to be nurtured from, from a biblical standard of understanding that we are a reflection of a creator. We are a creation, but we are a reflection of a creator. And so I'm going to make sure I put my children in the most healthy environment. First, mentally and socially. I got to make sure I'm healthy. I got to make sure I'm in this place. You know what I mean? I'm not telling my child, you know, you're getting on my nerves, girl. You're getting on my nerves, you know, nigga. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, because your children are a burden to you. Because you got to show up every day to work. And your, your paternal or your maternal instinct tells you that you got to take care of these kids. But you'll resent something that's going to be a blessing. You'll resist it, and then guess what? You just want to get it out the house by any chance. Mm. Get, out, get out of my house. You know what I mean? The time, whoa! I got to have to do it. You know what I mean? And that's the way we think. To where if we healthily think, we'll say, man, you know what? I'm going to look at my baby, I'm going to look at him. I'm like, okay. You know what I mean? If you ever look at your man,
Thank you. 